All right, everybody, this is, uh, I'm James Mears. I'm Kim Smallhorn. I'm Selena Raymond. And we're your nursing professors for Pharmacology 217. So we wanted to create a welcome video that would hopefully de-stress and lower your anxiety level. We know a lot of you are just wrapping up exams and enjoying the winter holidays, but we didn't want you to panic too much about the course and we wanted to introduce ourselves. Do you want to tell, tell them a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Kim and I've been teaching full-time for St. Clair College since 2008. I started teaching part-time in 2002. My background uh, is mostly labor and delivery, high-risk antepartum and postpartum. I've been a nurse for 20 years and I love what I do and I'm always uh, here for the students. So anytime you need to see me, I will give you my contact information and you can make an appointment to touch base with me anytime you need. Sounds good. So my name is James Mears. Um, I've taught pharmacology before. I've been a nurse for about 16 years and uh, I really love teaching this course. I, I think you're all going to benefit from having us as instructors, uh, putting in our own plug there. Um, I've taught in the, or I've been a nurse in the American system and the Canadian system. My background is acute med surge. I currently work as a casual nurse in the cardiac care unit, so I'm still practicing and giving medications and uh, so I'm going to bring to you some stories from my clinical setting. Yeah. So that's about it for me. All right, I'm Selena Raymond. I've been at the college for a couple years now, and um, I am a nurse practitioner, a primary healthcare nurse practitioner. I've been a nurse for a total of 14 years. So again, I have lots of stories, lots of um, information to share with you, and again, I'm here for you also. I just want to introduce you to the course to hopefully um, reduce some anxiety that you might be having. So basically this course is to help you to become a safe nurse, to administer medications safely, to know which medications and what side effects um, or you know uh, what blood tests are needed in order for you to give the medication safely. So there is specific medications that we're going to be going through, but we don't expect you to know all of the medications and to know how all of them work. Basically we just want you to know the basics of giving medication so that you can start to give medications in your clinical placements. Yeah. So we should talk about how you're going to be um, successful in this course and the first one is please, I can't say it enough, I'm going to sound like a broken record, pre-read or skim prior to coming to class. Don't come to class empty and don't come to class thinking you're just going to follow along with the PowerPoints or the lecture notes and that will be enough. You really need, what we're giving you is the tip of the iceberg and there's so much more we only have two hours, you need to read what's required and you need to make questions and bring those questions to class and then any of us can answer those questions in class and we can all benefit from that. But please don't, I know that your time is challenging, you might be a mom or have a job or whatever the case may be, but you really need to at least read the chapter summaries, at least read the blue bullets if you're really tight on time. Um, but don't just come to class. It, the information that we're going to give you is complex. Yes, and there's a lot of terminology that you're going to need to know, so you want to skim, yeah. like James said, because if you're hearing the terms for the first time, you're going to feel like you're sitting in on a Greek class. Yeah. So you want to skim the chapter. Maybe if there's some terminology you don't understand, go to the back in the glossary and look the words up. Um, these are great for cue cards. Yes. Yeah, you yes. can make cue cards off of these. Which will help in your PNR 221 um, and 220 and even health assessment as well. And speaking of, we should mention that the reason we've written the um, suggested readings, which may vary from Chatham, is we're trying to follow along with your PNR 220 and 218 course. So you will get the material in theory, and then we're going to reinforce the meds that you would give for that specific disorder or disease process, and Chatham's the same way. Great. I forgot to mention too, I'm at the Thames campus. So when you log into Blackboard for the first time and hit on um, PNR 217, if you click on Course Documents, you're going to see um, some great online resources and then you're also going to find your material uh, in week one, two, and the rest of the weeks. But I want to take you to this um, online textbook resource that we talked about. If you click on that, it's going to pop up a new window. This is the um, online resource that Adams, the author of this textbook, provides. And if we're studying from chapter four, we want you to pay attention to the CRNE questions. Now remember, these are go ahead, read the question, click on the answer, click on all the answers that you think, and then at the bottom you can hit submit answers for grading and only you yourself see the results. Um, it's gonna tell you whether it was right or wrong and it's gonna give you the rationale. So please use this resource for 
every week. Um, don't wait until the night before a test to do this. Uh, you will panic and um, we don't want you to panic. We want you to learn how to The second resource that we want to show you is Medline Plus. It's an American website, but it is basically the equivalent of Google for healthcare practitioners. You can search any drug in here. Um, we're going to type in digoxin and again it populates the drug that we're looking for and you just click on digoxin and this is written at um, a patient level of understanding so please if you're struggling with the textbook or the drug guidebook you're finding the words are too challenging maybe you want to consider starting out with Medline Plus it's written in layman's terms or a non-nursing term it will help you so if you're struggling I guess I'm recommending come here first then go to your drug guidebook and then discussion board and this will be a very helpful useful tool it's uh, sort of like Facebook you can network with anyone else in the class and you can post a question um, and so how we've used this in the past and students have really enjoyed it is we've asked what is the muddiest point in your pharmacology reading so far prior to midterms um, this becomes very active so you may want to tune into this um, as students start to ask um, questions if you want to post a question, all you would do is click on this and you would click create thread and you would start typing in here um, what you want to say and then you can hit the anonymous button if you'd like to. I'm going to encourage you not to um, because sometimes when other students see that you didn't know something and uh, you allow yourself to be vulnerable, they also allow themselves to be vulnerable. and. Um, want to know that answer too. So consider um, using this as a, as a helpful tool. Again, Blackboard, if you just click on the course documents, that's where you're going to find all of our PowerPoints and our helpful resources and links. Um, you're going to click on week one and you're going to see a little blurb of what we're going to discuss in the cloud. Let me just scroll down to the lecture notes. Down here you'll find lecture notes. You click on that, you'll hit open, and instead of 140 or 120 or 100 PowerPoint slides, we have all the information that you would normally get in PowerPoint posted on the um, page and with a margin that you can write notes in along the way as we're going through the class. We've taken the time to bold, underline, and italicize or even highlight important things that you want to pay attention to. Let me stress, you do not need the PowerPoints and um, the lecture notes. They're a duplicate in a different format. So if you're printing the PowerPoints and that's what you like, just do that. If you're printing the lecture notes and that's what you like, just do that. You do not need both. We don't. So we might as well tell you what kind of textbooks you're going to need for this course because there are a lot of online resources and some paper resources. But the first one you're going to want to get your hands on is uh, the information from the Adams textbook for pharmacology. So here it is. You're going to notice it's the Canadian edition. It's extremely helpful. Great. Well, the other book that you're going to need is a nursing drug guide. So. You can pick whichever nursing drug guide that you want. These are two examples of really good ones, but if you want to flip through them and see what kind of um, format that you like would be best for you. Uh, this one specifically, so this is Lippincott. What you want to do is when you're looking at medications, you want to really pay attention to the italicized information, which would draw you to adverse effects, which is very important. And then also the areas that are bolded, which are life-threatening side effects that you very much want to know about also. So these are two examples, but you definitely want to get a hard copy so you can bring this with you to clinical and you're going to be using it for the next couple of years and probably into your nursing career. So definitely you need to pick up one. One of the other resources that we have at Sinclair College, if you're not already aware, uh, we do have free tutoring. At the Windsor campus, the tutors are available in the nursing lab on the second floor. Um, of course, there's always tutoring in the learning commons, but they don't do specific nursing tutoring. So if you're having problems in PNR 221, which is your med search theory, or health assessment, which is PNR 218, or um, something like pharmacology, you can come to the lab on the second floor of the health science building and make an appointment to see one of the lab techs. Um, or to see one of the tutors that they have available. Often we use the fourth year BSCN students to help um, to do some tutoring. So please don't, it's free. Um, I really, really recommend that if you're struggling at all, you access those tutors and of course your professors. Early, as early, early, early as possible. Early. Yes. Yeah, don't wait until the night before or don't wait until the results of your first test. Go online, use the online resources to question or quiz yourself and see how you're doing. 
um, print those rationales and uh, whatnot. Tam's campus also has mentoring. Yep. The bonus is these are students that have actually um, gone through the course last year, so it's fresh in their mind. They know how we teach. They know uh, they remember the most important information. And it was a struggle for all of us to learn pharmacology in the beginning. But these students are actually paid. So maybe if you get an amazing mark on pharmacology this semester, you can become a mentor for next semester um, and help other people. So yes. Yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Cue cards. Oh that, yes. That might be one helpful way that you can um, learn this material. Is uh, I know that I made cue cards when I was in school, um, but try to take all the information about that medication and just write what you need to know on that cue card. So, yeah. All right, so we'll wrap this up. Uh, thank you for listening. I just wanted to reiterate that I am teaching at Thames, and so we've tried to keep the material quite similar, but there's going to be different sequences um, over at Thames as opposed to Windsor. So if you have friends uh, studying in Windsor here, it's going to be a little bit different just because I'm going to be aligning it with the nursing theory course and the health assessment course so that the, you know, the topics line up so that you're learning the same information. So when you guys are covering diabetes, we might be covering something else, but it's the same material, just in a different order. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, don't panic. I think that was the, hopefully we alleviated some stress when we created this video and um, we made Blackboard activate um, active for you. We don't want you to read too much, but definitely prior to the first day of class, we want you to read chapters one through five, which sounds like a lot of reading, but it's really less than 30 to The five. chapters are short, yeah. short and sweet. Yeah, it will be the probably the driest material that they have yeah. to read, weeks one and two, but um, please skim it, read it, uh, make cue cards if you have to make cue cards, come to class with questions. If you can get your hands on books, please do that over the Christmas holidays if you know someone who took the course last year, or go to the bookstore and buy a lab drug guide book and start becoming more familiar with it. Uh, I use Twitter, so if anybody likes to use Twitter, if there's any Twitter users out there, you don't need to use Twitter to be successful, but if you do, you can look up the hashtag uh, PNR217 and you can see all the stuff that former students have posted when they've either been studying for exams or had a question or things that I've posted that relate to hypertension or diabetes or stuff like that. So if you are a Twitter user, you can um, look up the hashtag, hashtag PNR217 and um, you'll see some of our stuff from previous years. So, okay. With, yeah. Enjoy your holidays. Right. See you okay. January early. Get, get lots of rest. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.